We are glad to welcome you to our channel. Kindly subscribe to our channel and share our videos with your friends and relations. And click on the bell icon for instant notification whenever new videos are uploaded on this channel. Rest assured that we are going to have a very exciting and inspiring discussion. Let's dive into the lesson right away. Welcome back to another lesson video. Today, we are going to dive into the art of writing a great article. Whether you are a student preparing for exams, a blogger, or simply someone who wants to improve your writing skills, these tips that we are going to share will help you create compelling and effective articles. To illustrate these tips, we are going to provide a sample article in response to a real question from the West African Senior School Certificate Examination English Paper 2 of May, June 2019. This is English Classes Online, and I am your host, Benjamin. Let's get started. First, we want to look at tip number one, choose a captivating topic. The first step in writing a great article is selecting a topic that captures the reader's interest. Your topic should be relevant, timely, and engaging. Take the time to brainstorm ideas, research current trends, and identify a unique angle that sets your article apart from others. Don't forget that whenever people are looking for articles in a newspaper or magazine, the first thing they are looking for is the headline. And so they have different headlines to choose from. And this is why you have to choose a captivating topic that will draw the attention of the reader and draw him or her to your article. So the topic or the headline is the first thing that you must pay attention to, to ensure that your article will be appealing to the readers. Now let's move on to tip number two, and that is brainstorm and gather information. Planning is key to writing a good article. So you need to gather relevant information and ideas that will enable you to support your claims. Jot down and outline the key points and the appropriate supporting details that will add credibility to your article and that will help you present a well-rounded perspective on the topic. Now, a good article is like a good building, you know? To construct a good house or building, you need a good building plan. Similarly, to produce a good article, you need a good writing plan. And this begins with brainstorming and gathering information with which you create an outline, all right? So this is a very important step in article writing. Moving further, we look at tip number three, create a strong introduction. Your introduction is your chance to hook your readers and set the tone for the rest of the article. So you need to start with a compelling hook. Uh, a hook is the opening statement in your article. Uh, it could be a sentence, you know, the opening sentence that actually uh, draws the attention of your reader and grabs the attention and retains it, okay? So start with a compelling hook, such as a surprising fact, a thought-provoking question, 
a relevant anecdote or uh, a quotation, okay? You need to clearly state the main point of your article and provide a, ro a roadmap for what readers can expect. You know, your introduction is your first paragraph, is the first paragraph in your article, and that is the first paragraph that the reader comes in contact with. And then you need to create a strong introduction so that the reader will be interested in what you are going to write in the article. You know, the, the introductory paragraph is the door to the body of the article. And of course, the door should be good enough to allow the guest to enter the house. So if the door is, is really not suitable, if the, the guest considers the door uh, bad or something uninteresting, then you may decide not to walk into the house. So you need a strong introductory paragraph so that the reader will make up his or her mind to go ahead to read your article. Tip number four, develop engaging body paragraphs. To do this, you need to divide your article into well-structured body paragraphs. Each paragraph should focus on a single point supported by evidence, you know? So this is really very important. The body of your article should be divided into various paragraphs that, you know, are logically related or connected, you know? For example, you need to discuss a particular major point in a paragraph, okay? Each paragraph should focus on a single point supported by evidence. And then you need to transition smoothly between one paragraph and another in order to maintain a coherent flow. For the drug abuse article, for example, that's if you are writing an article on drug abuse, you need to dedicate some paragraphs or a paragraph to the causes, and then you uh, dedicate another paragraph to the solutions and so on and so forth. Uh, you, you, so this is exactly the way to make your paragraph quite, you know, uh, logical. For example, you, you decide to discuss the causes of drug abuse in a particular paragraph or in some paragraphs, you know, related paragraphs. You may decide to discuss the causes in a particular paragraph and discuss the solutions in a particular paragraph as the case may be, okay? And then, Causes such as peer pressure, lack of awareness, and the role of family dynamics can actually be discussed in related paragraphs or in a paragraph. Now, so uh, when you focus, uh, when you dedicate a particular paragraph, okay, to a single point, it actually makes the reader, you know, uh, relate with what you are exactly saying. And so when you discuss one particular point, you develop it and you conclude that particular point, then you move on to another point. And this will carry your readers along. They will be able to flow with your line of thoughts, okay? Now, tip number five, Engage with clear language. Language is the tool and the raw material for producing any form of writing, whether it is an article, a story, a report, a letter, or a speech. So you need clear language. 
use clear and concise language to make your article easy to understand. You should avoid jargon or overly complex vocabulary that might confuse your readers. A well-structured and engaging article keeps the readers interested. So clear language is, is key, is, is paramount, so that your readers will be able to understand the ideas you are sharing with them. Someone who doesn't understand what is written in a particular article is not likely to continue reading it because nobody wants to waste his or her time reading what they do not understand, okay? Now, this brings us to tip number six, include real life examples. Real life examples make your article relatable and vivid. So incorporate stories or case studies that showcase the impact of drug abuse, for example, uh, drug abuse on the youth and their communities, you know? Your stories or uh, your case studies should be able to showcase or uh, uh, describe the impact of drug abuse on the youth and their communities. This humanizes the issue and makes it more compelling. You know, when you use real life examples, people will be interested because they can relate with, you know, what you are really uh, discussing. So that is really very important. Now let's move on to tip number seven, offer practical solutions. Your readers expect more than just describing a problem. They are looking for solutions. So you need to provide solutions, offer practical solutions. You know, you need to present practical and actionable suggestions to curb drug abuse among the youth, for example. So make sure your solutions are well researched and feasible. All right, this is really, really important. The last but not the least, tip number eight, conclude strongly. To do this, you have to summarize the main points you've discussed and restate the urgency of addressing the issue. You need to end with a clear call to action encouraging readers to get involved or implement the suggested solutions. This is how to conclude strongly. There are different methods of conclusion, but the most important thing is for you to ensure that you restate your main idea and most importantly, make a clear call to action so that you will actually uh, make your recommendation something that the reader can take away and really think about. Make sure your conclusion leaves a lasting impression on the reader. Now, having said this, let's now move on to the sample article. We are now going to apply the tips we have already learned to the following prompts from the West African Senior School Certificate Examination English Paper 2 of May, June 2019. And the question, the, the writing prompt is as follows. Write an article suitable for publication in a national newspaper on the growing incidence of drug abuse among the youth, stating the causes and suggesting ways it can be curbed. All right, so this is a real uh, exam question taken from Wasi English Paper 2, May, June 2019. Now, let's uh, go into the sample article. I, I will show you exactly how you can write this type of article. So this is exactly how your uh, headline should be presented on the top center 
of your writing material, tackling the growing incidence of drug abuse among the youth. Okay, and then what follows after the headline is the first paragraph, which is the introductory paragraph. So you may use sub, sub, uh, subtopics, or you may decide not to use subtopics, okay? So here, I've just included subtopics to show you exactly how to present the, the content of your article. So let's begin with the introduction. In recent years, a concerning trend has gripped our society, the growing incidence of drug abuse among our youth. This issue is not only endangering the future of our nation, but also tearing apart the fabric of our communities. It is imperative that we delve into the root causes of this menace and devise effective strategies to curb it. So this is the first paragraph, and this is what contains your introduction, okay? The first uh, sentence is the hook, all right? Because here you have come up with a sentence that, the, that will draw empathy from the reader. The reader will relate with the fact that this is a concerning thread that has gripped a society. And by the way, the reader is part of the society. So he or she becomes concerned because it's a concerning thread. And then the, that particular concerning thread is mentioned here, the growing incidence of drug abuse among our youth. So this raises some questions or creates some uh, curiosity in the mind of the reader. And he or she is likely to want to know more why this is a concerning trend and why it is important. And then you, you follow up with more relevant information. This issue is not only endangering the future of our nation, but also tearing apart the fabric of our communities. You are now uh, describing the gravity of the problem. And then the thesis actually points the direction that you are going. The, 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 the major thing you are going to discuss in this topic, in, in this topic, you know, or in this subject. It is imperative that we delve into the root causes of this menace and devise effective strategies to curb it. Okay, so that is your introduction. And then we move on to the body of your article. And as contained in the writing prompt, you are asked to discuss the causes. So you are going to first discuss the causes and then you discuss the solution because these are the two things you have been asked to discuss. So you start with the causes, which of course is captured in a paragraph here. Let's look at it. The surge in youth drug abuse can be attributed to several factors. Peer pressure, often worsened by the desire to fit in, plays a pivotal role. Additionally, the lack of awareness about the grave consequences of substance abuse further fuels this problem. The easy accessibility of drug of drugs due to weak law enforcement and the allure of escaping from life's challenges are also uh, major challenges, okay? So that is exactly uh, what the causes are, you know? There are actually no dogmatic ways of putting in your ideas. The most important thing is for you to articulate your ideas and present them in a very, very uh, meaningful way. Now, moving further, we are going to look at the solutions. Okay, we are now through with the causes. 
we put the causes in a particular paragraph. So we are going to put the solutions in another paragraph. Now, here are the solutions. To combat this issue, a multi-pronged approach is essential. Firstly, educational institutions must incorporate comprehensive drug awareness programs into their curriculum. These programs should enlighten students about the physical, emotional, and social consequences of drug abuse. Additionally, community-driven initiatives that involve parents, teachers, and local leaders can foster a supportive environment for at-risk youth, youth that are really uh, at the risk of drug abuse, okay? So these are the solutions. And then the next will be the conclusion. Include this type of article. As a society, we cannot afford to stand idly by while our youth fall victim to the clutches of drug abuse. It is our collective responsibility to address this crisis head on by promoting education, raising awareness, and fostering a nurturing environment. We can create a future where our youth are empowered to make healthy choices and contribute positively to our nation's growth. All right, so you, you have concluded here by showing what must be done, creating a sense of urgency and making a clear call to action. You have spelled out what should be done, you have made recommendations, and you have actually uh, placed emphasis on the key ideas that you have presented. So that is exactly how to conclude a good article. And it's now time to sum up I've given you practical tips. And in addition to the tips, I have also given you a sample article addressing the issue of youth drug abuse. So there you have it. So remember that crafting a great or good article takes practice. So don't be discouraged if your first attempt isn't perfect. You know, as the saying goes, Practice makes perfect. And when you start at first, you could make some mistakes, all right? But if you keep practicing, you will be taken from the, from the beginner stage to the intermediate stage and then to the expert stage. So follow these steps and apply these tips. And with time and dedication, you will be well on your way to becoming a skilled article writer. If you have enjoyed today's video, make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, kindly leave them in the comments below. See you in the next class. Many thanks for watching today's video. A big thank you to all of you out there for being part of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, kindly subscribe to this channel. Subscribe now as a way of giving us support. For notification about new videos, click on the bell icon. You will find the bell icon click on it so that whenever a new video is uploaded you will be instantly notified if you have actually enjoyed the video like and share the video with your friends and relatives this is very important if you have any comments leave your comments below any questions any suggestions we would gladly receive them and respond promptly and positively to them see you in the next video i look forward to always seeing you in the new video thank you and remain blessed